Welcome to the course of project management. In today's session, we are going to learn about the basics of project management. Let's try to understand what do you mean by project management. There are two words. One is the project and another one is management. Now what do we mean by project? Let's try to understand more about the project. Let's try to define the project. A standard definition for the project can be given as it's a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or result. So what is a temporary endeavor? So it means that the projects are not permanent. Does it mean that once we do the project, those are not go for, or that's not lie for the permanent? It's not like that. It means that the project has some specific started and the specific ended. So it has got some specific duration. In that duration, the project has to be executed. And that is why it is called that it's a temporary endeavor. It's undertaken to create a unique product or result. So projects always generate some kind of results, some kind of product. Those are unique. It has a common set of objectives and has a specific start date and end date. Project is undertaken with some common set of objectives. Projects cannot be taken if there is no objective. So there is an objective involved behind each and every small project. Let's take an example for a coffee. The objective of us preparing the coffee is to have it at the end. Also, the project can be extended as or the project further can be defined as it is a set of interrelated activities, interrelated tasks. So let's try to understand what the other characteristics does project have. As we said, project have a specific purpose. Without specific purpose, project cannot be undertaken. Projects are realistic. What do you mean by realistic? It means the doable. Projects are always doable. But the end result might be a fa pass or failure. So if the projects are not executed properly, they get fail. But the projects are always realistic. Projects are product of collective endeavors. It means it's, it's the work product of team efforts. A set of team members come together and develop the project as a collective effort. And that is why it is termed as projects are product of collective endeavors. Projects are unique. What do you mean by unique? Each and every project has some unique purpose, unique attributes. There is no duplication. So it means that the projects are undertaken for the single purpose, unique purpose. The next characteristics of the project can be given as project always involves uncertainty and risk. Yes. What do you mean by uncertainty and risk? If the projects are complex in nature, there is a possibility that there are some factors which may not come. But if they come, they will impact the project timelines, project schedule, project cost, project budget, 
each and everything we need to understand those uncertainty or in fact we need to factor those uncertainty and risks while we are scheduling the project while we are budgeting the project for example now we are executing a project we have agreed that this 20 member team will sit at this place in mumbai and will execute a x project and there is a some natural calamity is coming in which is not budgeted so that kind of expectation has to be set and in case the natural calamities are coming in the project has to be shifted to some other location in a very few hours or very few days based on the expectation set so this is one of the example for the uncertainty and risk which has to be factored when we are planning the projects next character sheet about the project is projects are accessible they can be measured it means that there is a quantitative measurement which can be done for the projects if the project is success or failure that can be measured basis to those parameters for example if the project is said that it has to be completed in 20 days of time so if at the end of project once we declare the project is over it's completed if we see measure the parameter that whether this is this is completed in 20 days more than 20 days less than 20 days it will tell you how much the project was successful so it can be accessible similar way the cost we say the project has to be completed in 20 days with for example 1000 rupees so if by spending a 1000 rupees if you are able to complete the project in 20 days that project can be called as a success so there are three basic parameters to major the success of project which are which are called as key parameters like project schedule project cost and the project quality project has to be completed within schedule within cost and within the agreed quality parameters next characteristics of the project is the project have a life cycle as i said earlier project has a specific start date and end date so there is a some specific duration involved for that project and in that specific duration project has to follow some kind of life cycle if we come to the software project there is a cycle called software development life cycle which gets followed which is called as sdlc so each and every project has some specific life cycle and that has to be followed based on the project type this is about the project characteristics and the definition of the project let's move to the next slide of now we just understand what we mean by project in the similar way let's try to understand what is the project management what do you mean by project management and why there is a need for a project management very important because if you don't know need for what we are doing then it is just of no use so let's try to understand what do you mean by project management and what is a need for it so it can be defined as the application of knowledge skills tools and techniques to a broad range of activities in order to meet the requirement of particular project as i said earlier project is a set of interrelated activities that has to be executed in a collective way to generate a final product a final outcome so in order to generate that final product or a end product of the project we need to apply 
the knowledge which we have the skills which we have the available tools and techniques on those activities so this is nothing but the project management now where the management comes into picture this is where how you are going to apply the knowledge what is the way of applying the knowledge where whether you are giving the right kind of resources whether you are asking assigning the task to right resources right skills whether you have the right tools and techniques available for that and managing all that is nothing but the project management what is the need for project management the need for project management is becoming increasingly apparent in the world today why because the speed quality and cost control are taking an increased significance in business government and non profit sectors so basically those are the driving factors in today's world for any organization and in order to cope up with the good quality the required speed and a cost factor it is mandatory for the organization to execute the project in a planned manner in a planned manner so it means that any project which is getting executed if it has to be executed in a planned manner then we should apply all those knowledge skills tools and techniques in a better way so project management allows managers to plan and manage the strategic initiatives that generate new revenues